Hi, I'd like to give you a tour of what's new in this uh, latest in-app update to Dayback. Um, it all surrounds this uh, resource view. So the resource view lets you take your day and break it up into columns, where each column is a, a resource, which could be a person, you know, a salesperson, a piece of equipment, a truck, a room, anything that can conflict. And it can let you take kind of an otherwise crazy day, so here's the same day in list view, and, um, and have it make a lot more sense as it breaks up into columns. And you can kind of page through resources here, which is, which is pretty cool. So the big change here is that this version of Dayback, this, this in-app update, will let you look at this at more than one day at a time. So if we switch this to three days, you can see that we have a pretty busy day over here on Monday, but that Tuesday and Wednesday are pretty open. So we can take things like this conflict and, and spread them out, you know, like I can move this event over to the same resource on a different day or even to a different resource. Um, the other thing that's new here is we've introduced this, this none column. This is kind of the default column for events that don't have a resource yet. And you can think of this as like your unscheduled list. So let me just hide the sidebar here. Whoops, sorry. Let me just hide the sidebar here so you can see a little bit more. So you can grab things over here and uh, allocate them out, you know, either to different places in the same day or to resources in a different day. So you can put it over here and then make it a little bigger. And kind of when this list is empty, then you've kind of allocated everything for that day. You can even have things over here that you know what time they want to be, but you don't know what day they're supposed to be on so, or, or what resource they're supposed to be in. So I can keep this at 9.15 and put it over here, but it would conflict. But on Tuesday and Wednesday, it's pretty wide open. So um, we, we really like that. So we did a couple other things to kind of make this view uh, work, and I, I just kind of want to show you those. One is this little pager icon for resources up here. So this lets you know how many pages of resources you have left to go through. And um, then we've introduced a, uh, a, a list view. So you've seen the list view on week and day. So list view, if you're scheduling in whole days, um, again, let me hide this, or aren't concerned about the times, the list view really kind of gives you a nice, uh, a nice way to look at this. And then you can mirror that with turning the compressed view on and then get kind of a nice, just kind of visual uh, sketch of your workload. And uh, of course, we could show a lot more days here. Like if I put this up into five days, you'll see that we drop down to show little abbreviations. This is one of the other things we added. So you can, in addition to maintaining your resource list, you can now maintain a, an abbreviation list that matches it. And we'll use these abbreviations when we don't have enough uh, room to show everything else. I think the only other thing that's new here is over on month view, we've added, um, let me turn compressed view off. It looks really good on month view too, right? Um, We've added the ability to hide weekends, which is really nice if you have a smaller display like this one. So if I say show weekends, no. Now we're just going to run Monday through Friday, and you can see that the uh, the you get a lot more space for each event. Um, so I think this is a pretty cool update. Um, it, as with all these in-app updates, the way you get this is you just head over to settings, then click account settings, and check for updates. And if you're not running the latest version, it'll tell you how to get it. You just uh, click download here. It'll download the code into Dayback and then give you instructions for modifying a few of the scripts you'll need to change in order to get this done. Scripts to tell us like what the default no weekend state is, how many resources uh, to show by default and stuff like that. So uh, I hope you'll download the trial version of Dayback and check it out or download this update into your copy. Uh, thanks very much.